Not everyone in the world is suited personality-wise to be a software developer, but some people are. And it's just heartbreaking to think that kids can go up and go all the way through high school and never realize that they would really like it and would be really good at it. Okay, let's talk about what we're doing today and then we're going to get you guys rolling again and stuff. We are going to continue work on your final game projects today, but let me really quick go over some ground rules for your, fa for your final game projects. Number one is we need a storyboard. A lot of people did this right. They started working on their storyboard. You really want to spend about 20 minutes of planning and figuring out what your game's going to be. It will make it go much faster in the long run. If you're having problems with the storyboard because you missed the explanation of what that was last week, just talk to either myself or one of the professors here today. Uh, well, one of the things I do at, at Metro State is work with uh, pre-service teachers, so in particular in mathematics. And so it's always good for me to get out in the field and work with, I think, students. It gives my work more credibility when I talk about working with students with pre-service people. So. I get that from working with students and I also get lots of ideas to steal when I work with people like you, teachers who are experts at working with high school students. Um, I just take that and roll with it. In fact, we've got a great diverse group in here. We've got girls, we've got boys, we've got different grade levels, we've got all sorts of different personalities. It's a really cool mix of kids in here and hopefully that'll continue. So I like that most of the things we do are on the computer and I like how it shows the artistic side of the students and I like how we could just talk about games all the time. Yeah, I tend to be one of those persons that just likes to work on their own and this class kind of forced me to work with other people and like accept their ideas instead of just trying to force mine like all the time. So that was something pretty significant. I would definitely feel more comfortable taking a, a college computer programming class, um, especially right now that it's like this many freshman people and I know them. And in college, I don't know if I might know them, but I would definitely feel comfortable being around them in a computer class. The students in this class sort of naturally collaborate. They run into situations and they share their ideas. And you don't even have to um, structure it. It sort of naturally happens that they help each other and work with each other. Well, my reading class is good, but I get bored of just reading. And well, in this class, like you're active, like you actually do things, you plan your things out, and you get stuff done in the computer. And that's more interesting because of the computer, and you learn more things. You learn about how to how other people make their own, and you learn off of that, and then you get ideas off of that. We're just trying to expose the kids to some computer technology stuff that they wouldn't otherwise have a chance to be exposed to necessarily. And we're trying, I mean, personally, we're try, I think we're trying to nudge them gently towards some programming ideas. Having the real Metro professors in this class has really helped me um, feel more comfortable, like, with Metro professors and collaborating with them. Well, for, for me, you know, I teach beginning programming at Metro to college students a lot. You know, I have for 25 years. And, and do, being out here working last semester has sort of changed my perspective on teaching, teaching people things. I'm doing a lot more group work this semester than I have in the past. It's just, you know, the idea that you can sort of let people explore more freely instead of just standing up there and lecturing, so that's been valuable. It's, it's hard, and it's a really different teaching paradigm. And you know what else it is, is it's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun, you know. Um, it's, can't say that I'm not enjoying working here at CEC and working with the kids and working with you, so it's that.